centerpiece and gloves. Now you got a deal run up. Saturday morning, and I am heading to Tamaqua, Pennsylvania. I am very close. I just stayed at the hotel in Hazleton, and I'm about 20 minutes out from Tough Like Roar. I saw yesterday I walked the track, and the conditions look amazing. I was kind of running through it in my mind this morning, thinking how fast it's going to be, uh, the difficult sections to, to work with, and trying to remember those key areas where I either got to stay right or stay left or certain downhills that are coming up on me quickly I'm trying to do it a visualization as I was lying in, in bed at five in the morning I'm feeling really good about this race uh, mostly because it's good weather and I'm not I, you know the exception of one race this year everything has just been awful awful conditions mud and rain and cold and now it's looking I can't imagine a more perfect day for racing here so you know, this is going to be a really interesting one because when the conditions are good for you they're good for everyone else as well um, I mean everyone prefers good conditions but that means everyone can ride better in good conditions it's going to be uh, the type of race where everyone's fighting hard for those uh, 60 positions I said 50 yesterday it's actually 60 positions for the main event uh, and then the LCQ you're going to be taking the top 10 and moving on to uh, the main event so you know I think for any amateur rider any amateur class it's it's going to be extremely difficult for a qualification into the main which is totally fine because you get to go and watch the main event and and see all the pros um, but if you're looking to get into that main event you're gonna have to fight hard today um, ideally in the first race but if not in that LCQ for those final 10 positions so let's get to um, the race uh, location which is in uh, a, looks like a coal mine abandoned coal mine um, and uh, set up with with the bike meet up everyone and get ready to race tough like roar he just pulled in eh? yeah like me. Good last year. Oh, you broke your car. <laughs> pick the wrong machine for this race you know, the more I do track walks, the more I realize how important they are to having a successful race because there's so many things you come along and even um, Ohio was a good example of that where I got held up and uh, I didn't get held up. I just didn't realize that a rock was part of the course. And that's where you may have seen the video where Quinn Wenzel got a little frustrated with me. <laughs> but I thought it turned back. So these are little things. And I just ran into another section back there where if you don't realize it's coming back or making some funky turn, you're going to get confused, lose time. And it's often at a spot where you're battling someone for position. So just walking it through even once is going to give you that memory to figure out where things go. Especially when they get um, to the point where they're no longer intuitive. Whoa, look at this downhill. Maybe a lot of people locking up the brakes on this one. It's slippery. A little surprise log out of nowhere. Always fun to do trail running this second portion I think a lot of people probably didn't come down here but again invaluable because what I realized this whole second portion is kind of flat out like you don't need to be cautious and so I think if you didn't come down here to see it you're losing a lot of speed because you don't realize just how fast you can go through here and this looks like the main area coming back down into the we started on that 6.12k and they make you come back and then through this portion all over again so, and there you have it full lap checkpoint should be right here and that puts us at 6.88 about seven kilometer course all right it is 7 a.m here in Tamaqua, pennsylvania and we are going for another quick track walk at Tough Like Roar. This is gonna be a good one. This is the starting area here. And it's a little crisp, but 
it's going to be a perfect day. I'm wearing shorts and I'm not uncomfortable. And uh, we've got this black dirt here. It's like a coal dust almost. Look at this. This is the dirt that we're doing the start in as we run into the woods. And there is Rob up there from Moto Valley Enduro. Goes on, going for its own track walk. Can I see your trail pass, please, sir? Uh, I don't have that. Oh, <laughs> any insurance? Yes, sir. It looks like it's been seen stuff. Yeah, that's why I brought it. Oh, I see. New tire installed by the master himself. Look at these bikes, all polished, ready to go. In large Canadian contingent here. Yeah, that's super thin. That'll break probably, probably even at the beginning, like I, when you uh, take off. I, I, bet, I don't even think it'll make it past the, I the start. I beg to differ because Tristan Hart runs the same one, so. Yeah, but that's Tristan. And, uh, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> Feeling good? Feeling good. All right, man. Rusty Sprockets Racing. So this is Dave's first U.S. Hard Enduro. Decided to jump right into the deep end with Tough Like Roar. Yes, sir. Although the weather is beautiful, so you don't get that experience. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this, sir? Well, I think uh, slow and steady. Well, maybe not slow, but steady for sure. Keep moving along. Uh, one obstacle at a time, look as far ahead as possible, um, and just try to conquer, you know, whatever's in front of you and not worry about anything. It's your own race. That's, That's a it. very, very um, diplomatic way of saying just send it. Yeah, basically.
keep it up, buddy. You're doing great. Woo!
All right, it's race day. Race day. Race day. None of us poor souls made it to the main. Close. It was Not close. close. Not close. Not close. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a good day of watching the pros. Uh, heading up to, where are we going? Uh, we're going to... Hurt Locker, the uh, wall. Push, push, hard Push, time. push. Oh, you know. As bisexual, <laughs> bisexual. <laughs> this is a, I swear that's the name of the trail. Is it really? Yeah, yeah I'm no joke. Okay, I was gonna say this is a G-rated uh, <laughs> channel here, but it's been a good time so far here in Pennsylvania. Everyone did really well. No one's too injured. Bikes are good, and uh, we're getting up this way so that we can get and see them. The start's gonna happen. These guys move so quick that we want to get to the good stuff right away. You can see. Here. All right, so the race has started. We are at some place, unknown location, and this is steep. So if you can see the trees, how they are, but we're, they're going to be coming up here and then heading over there, and then they've got to go back down something just as steep. And then we're going to head over to some more technical areas to watch. But this will be the first time that we see all the pros. Get up. Whoa, whoa. First leaders go through. It was Will uh, Rorden in first, yeah. followed by Johnny Walker, uh, Ryder LeBlanc in third, and I kind of lost track after yeah, that. Yeah, I was scared for but it looks like Tristan uh, unfortunately took a tumble because he was missing a visor, and uh, he was back in ten or something, which yeah. is really unusual for Tristan. So uh, it would be interesting to see him fight his way up and. Uh, See what happens. He's had a perfect record so far in the U.S. Hard Enduro Series, and uh, I'd be surprised if he doesn't maintain that. But we're going to head to the next section to see uh, where they are. It's absolutely insane. I, I honestly don't know how you get a dirt bike up here. I guess I'm about to see, in theory, but it's basically i want to say it's not straight up but these boulders are massive this is the line that i'm walking right now and you're coming up through this and your bike is going to be at least at a 45 degree angle here getting up to 60 here somehow getting your back wheel up to this and you got to make your way through all of this nonsense as you're getting up 
right through the worst spot possible. I don't know how anyone thought this would be a good idea for dirt bikes, but it's happening. <laughs> it's gonna be so crazy. Push, push.
going mad, Dad. I'll let Mom get in there. Mom needs a shot. It's all in. Now it's all in. Go, Connor! Go for it. Second Woo! place, Cody. Nice, Cody. Nice. Awesome second place. Woo! Nice, Cody. Bye, bitch.